Well, in health news, a groundbreaking new treatment is in the works at the University of Washington, and it could improve hand function for people who've had spinal cord injuries. Yeah, it's fascinating. Fox 13's Nikki Torres is live at the University of Washington this morning with more on this. Good morning, Nikki. Guys, good morning. About 5.4 million Americans deal with paralysis, and if all goes well with this study, um, this could be really life-changing, this treatment for them. So here is how it works. We heard from the lead researcher on this study. They say that the treatment actually uses electrodes that are attached to the skin over the spinal cord. That is instead of an implant. He says that a high-frequency stimulation pulse is then used to numb the skin underneath the electrodes, and at this point, they can pass five times more current through the skin to activate the spinal cord. The study involved about 60 participants and the lead researcher says that there have been some really exciting results so far. 72% of the people responded to the treatment, which meant that they increased both the strength of their hands and the function of their hands. If we looked at just one of those independently, 90% of the people responded. And the type of responses we see are anything from just making it easier to get through their daily tasks, to restoring their ability to do really complex activities like play an electric guitar or use a fine paintbrush on a canvas to do artistic painting. So we've seen a whole range of responses. Here we go. And again, that was the lead researcher that you just heard from there. The study is primarily being led here by researchers at the University of Washington in Seattle. And um, they say that there are also international studies that are using a very similar device. That is to restore bladder function, and those studies are still ongoing. The goal here is that it gets approved by the FDA by the end of the year, and then after that, they want to start putting it in physical therapy clinics that are prescribed. And then after that, hopefully, they can have these as home therapy treatments as well. We're live in Seattle. I'm Nikki Torres, Fox 13 News.